Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here with part two on covering this Better Homes and Gardens uh, binder, cookbook binder, which is, uh, if you saw the first one, it's my personal journal and it was quite, uh, you know, uh, worn. Here's an example of what it did look like in case you didn't see the first one. Now you can go look at that one to see <laughs> the front cover before I covered it. But uh, here's the spine. So this video is going to be about covering the spine and the uh, inside here. So I had planned when I first started doing this in my first video to use gingham, red and white gingham on the uh, spine to pay homage to the red and white Better Homes and Gardens, but then I uh, chose it. the red and white gingham went with this, but it didn't feel, I didn't feel like it went with this because this is also gingham and I didn't want gingham next to gingham, so I had to go back to the drawing board on that. And so what I picked out was, um, this is a piece of a tea towel that I had in my fabric drawer. Uh, uh, so I cut off a piece because it had, I thought it was really pretty. I debated on which part of the tea towel to use because there's a pretty picture on it. And I was uh, almost going to use the picture and I just decided it was going to be, uh, the picture part of it was going to be too big and I didn't want it to cover up too much of this pretty paper here. I love this. So I picked out this part of the tea towel and it's a perfect little gold to match with this kind of goldish yellow here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and see what it looks like. I'm going to use, uh, <clears throat> let's see, I'm going to use art glitter glue and I want to just see where this lines up. I have, there's lines on here so it's pretty cool to uh, be able to figure out where I'm going to put this with these lines. So there's one, two, three, four lines and this one, this line here is right on the corner. So I think that's where I wanted it. Let me just look real quick. See, so it's going to look like this, and then I have a couple of lines on the back. So yeah, that's going to be perfect, I think. Let me just make sure I don't want to pull it over a little bit. And it would be like that with three lines. And then we'll have the spine like this and a little bit more on the back. I think that's how I want it. Three lines, because I don't want to cover up this front page uh, too much, but I want it to, I do want the fabric to overlap. So, let me kind of measure where I want the glue by putting this fabric in place. Okay, so that little line is kind of like right on the corner of the spine and the cover. So I'm going to put some glue right here so I can see where it goes out to. And it goes right out to there. And then the same with the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to take that off for a second and then draw a line down here, top to bottom where my glue is going, the edge, and then go ahead and start covering this with some glue. And I want all over smoothness. I don't want any kind of lumps or I don't want this to show through. So what I'm going to do, I think it's going to get gluey on my hands, but I have my wet wipes right here. I'm just going to go like this all over and I can put more on the edge if I want so I'm not going to worry too much about getting a lot on the edge right now. I just want to get this all over and this this uh, fabric is a little bit see I can see through it right now like is it sitting on my placemat here on my table I can see through it so in order to avoid having you know seeing being able to see the glue possibly or taking a chance of being able to see the glue through this fabric I want to smooth it out a bit like this okay but now I'm gonna to have to glue down pretty quickly because it's gonna like be drying right right in, before my eyes here <laughs> so let's just get the fabric on there okay here we go. let me push it over or pull it over here because I want this on the edge. Okay, this little line is supposed to be on the edge. Ah. Okay. That looks good. 
And that worked well, I think, with spreading it out like that. Let me wipe my finger off because I've got it all over my finger now. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm not going to be getting glue everywhere, right? Okay. All right, so that went well. Now let's go to our spine. So you can see how it's going to look. Okay, let's go to our spine. We're going to put some glue on our spine. I'm going to get it right in this corners, in the corner here where this fabric is meeting the spine edge and the cover, front cover edge. And you can see this spine is pretty beat up. <laughs> This must have been a well-loved recipe book that was used a lot. I got it at a thrift store. This one, I didn't get it at a, uh, an estate sale or anything. And uh, I kind of bought this one just for the inside, for the pages, and didn't really plan on using this cover. And then I realized it would be so cool. Well, actually, Maria inspired me because she was using one of these for a cover, and hers was... Hers was in decent shape though. Hers looked really nice and this one, <laughs> this one needed help. So I said, well, you know, perfect opportunity. I love the size and everything. I think it would be a fun journal, but it does need a little TLC. So I'm getting this on the edge real good here. And then I'm going to do the same thing, spread it out again, because that worked well. So I'm going to try it again. Okay, do it quick so it doesn't dry, and go ahead and fold that. It's a little lumpy right in here. Okay, I think we're good. I'll pull it tight over. Okay, nice and tight. Looks good, smooth. I don't see any glue showing through. And you can see the Better Homes and Gardens ever so slightly. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I just love how this is turning out. Okay, wipe my glue off again. And let's get the back part glued on here. And let me make sure everything's in the right spot here for a second. Yeah, glues down fast. That is on there. Solid. Okay. Okay. I think we're good to go. It's the same thing here. Well, let me measure out here though. How far are we coming out? Went out to about right there. On this bottom part and the top, we're coming out to about right there. Get in here real good. Boy, this is hard to squeeze sometimes. Ugh, get it flowing. <laughs> Okay, that should be enough for us to spread around. I think we're good.
love it. Okay. You know, my fingers. Okay, there's a couple of strings here. A string. Yeah, there's a string right here. Okay. Let's check the front. All glued down real good. Okay, it looks beautiful, right? Nice contrasting fabric. And here's the inside. Now I picked out, remember I wanted the red and white gingham, so I thought, well, I can still have my red and white gingham on the inside. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I can leave that off, pin off. So I have some pieces right here already cut. I just cut pieces to fit here and here, like this, two squares or rectangles or whatever. And I just uh, put my 12 by 12, I had 12 by 12 uh, piece of cards, these are cardstock, and um, kind of just, you know, made, turn it over, put pencil marks where I wanted to cut, made my cuts. And now I'm ready to glue. So let's go ahead and glue this down. I did leave a little bit of a, I wanted the paper to show at the top and, you know, around the side and on the bottom, this yellow paper. So I didn't put it right up to the edge. I put it right next to the edge. And you'll see when I put it down what I'm talking about, if you don't understand, but you probably do understand, but... <laughs> just in case and it goes right up to this edge right here um, where the spine meets the front cover and then we'll just put it all over So this part is pretty quick. And like I said before, I just want enough glue to hold it down forever. So <laughs> kind of like why well, I kind of let it, maybe you see, think I'm overdoing it with the glue, but you know, I want it to hold on forever. So, okay. So I'm kind of going to put it down on this edge first because I want it right there. I know I want it right there on the edge and then pull it over before I stick it down make sure top and bottom check want a little bit showing on the top a little bit showing on the bottom and a little bit showing on the side okay perfect and then just glue it down there see I still got my red and white gingham on the inside so and then I'm going to do the back same thing over here let me see something real quick okay I just want to see how far I need to put my glue right here so it's like right on the edge of the paper right on the edge of the paper down all the way down Okay, get around the edges here. Try, try not to go out all the way to the edge because paper doesn't go all the way to the edge. But I want it. I want the edges glued down that are on there. So. This one, it wasn't necessary to spread out the glue because I don't have any see-through 
fabric or paper or anything here. You're not going to see this glue under this cardstock, so we're good to go with whatever glue I put on here. A little bit extra around on this lumpy part here. Okay, I think we are good. Put a little bit more on this edge. Maybe on this edge. I need to hurry up before this starts drying. Okay, let's get it down. A little bit from the top, a little bit from the side edge, a little bit from the bottom. Okay, that looks beautiful. Glue my edges down. Clean hands. Make sure my I mean that looks really good. Those corners look really good. I can't believe it. it came out so cool this is the first time I've covered a binder so <laughs> I really thought like you know I would mess up somewhere and uh you know but it's mine so I figured it'd be okay but I think everything turned out I mean it was easy right it was easy and it came out so pretty so much better than it was okay so uh, now I'm go not going to put anything on the front. I'm going to leave it like this. It's so pretty, right? It's so beautiful that I just like it like just like that. Now later on, if I decide, I can put something here, right here. I can picture something there, but I don't want to put anything there right now. So here's our spine, beautiful, and you can see the color, right? Here's our back, top. Everything is down good. Bottom looks good. The edges here, don't glue them together. <laughs> There's some glue still drying right there, I think. Okay, that'd be funny. Okay, so yeah, there's our sides. I mean, it looks, uh, uh, like, like I said in the beginning, I wanted it to be, what was the words I used? Not professional, but just well-made. And I think it does look well made and beautiful. And so this is what I uh, could put pockets or uh, you could put pockets if you're doing this or side tucks like here's my cutoffs. So if I wanted to put a little side tuck right here, I could or put a pocket down here. You can do that and just glue it down. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to leave it and see if I need a pocket in the future. Uh, maybe I'll save these cutoffs and you know, make some pockets later. Here's my stuff that I have in here. Uh, let's see, what do I have in here so far? Just some things from, let's see how this is open, from our color run that I had put in here, glued in on a page from, this was one of the dividers from the cook, you know, the cookbook. Used it as a page. This is a birthday card that I put, put in here, a uh, restaurant we went to. Put that on another divider card. And this is, oh, this is from my field notes. Made a belly band out of that. It was like a belly band around my field notes and I made a little belly band here for this page and a little tab decoration there. And that's all I have in here so far. I have some things to sort through and put in here. So that can be another video, but there you go done pretty decorated and much more beautiful than it started out and i love it i hope you love it too and i hope if you have a binder you'll that needs some tlc that you'll do the same thing or something similar and make yourself a beautiful journal thank you for watching tonight i hope you enjoyed it i love my journal and i'll see y'all next time happy crafting